Sunny days, vast nature, beautiful beaches. This is Byron Bay, located in Australia, known as Paradise on Earth. But wait, is it though? This paradise of 9,000 inhabitants receives more than 2.2 million visitors per year, and that's where the problem starts. Every day, Byron Bay faces a massive problem, traffic congestion. How can such a small town support more than 2.2 million visitors per year? It simply can't. In a way to outline this problem, the Byron Shire Council developed what is called the Byron Bay Master Plan where they planned actions and projects to improve the town centre in the next 20 years. The Byron Shire Council mentions in their website that this master plan is to connect the centre of Byron Bay with the spirit of the community. In this master plan, one of their many goals they want to achieve is to introduce traffic calming measures that support more pedestrian-friendly atmosphere within the town centre. One of these calming measures is to establish the Butler Street Bypass. The Butler Street Bypass connects Butler Street to the top end of Johnson Street, offering an alternative for drivers to avoid the town centre. In general, the bypass will improve connectivity and traffic flow between the north and south of Byron Bay, provide an alternative route that avoids the town centre, reduce the number of cars in the town centre daily by an estimated 30%, and prioritise pedestrians over cars in the town centre. It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? But it's not. The community affirms that the Byron Bay Bypass will kill vulnerable species and displace animals by the building of the bypass, replacing trees with tons of concrete. The council is being accused of destroying a vegetation community and significant habitat for a critically endangered species. Considering the community concerns, the council has presented a fauna management protocol, where ecologists are searching for endangered species in that area. Council says that all species present will be relocated to suitable habitats prior to clearing. The council also affirms that only 0.39% of the wetland area where the bypass is being constructed will be impacted. As part of an agreement with the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage, the Byron Shire Council is improving and conserving an additional 44.5 hectares of similar vegetation in the area. The controversial Butler Street Bypass, since the development first started back in July 2019, and since first started being discussed more than 20 years ago, has been many times the centre of debates and protests around Byron Bay. Thanks to its unique paradise characteristics, popularity and recently fast population growth, Byron Bay has started a chapter of expansion and development that, maybe, there's no way to go back. Although, with a better relation between the Byron community and council, we can make this expansion to happen in the most sustainable and healthiest way as possible.